And have you been the main organiser of this event for a while? I've been chairman for about 10 years now, and it doesn't get any easier. I noticed that we've, uh, as well as the tractors, we've got a couple of horses. Is that quite common? That's quite common. That, used to, that was the, the first thing they were proud with, was a horse, apart from the ox. And then we've got the horses are here as a demonstration, what it was like. And then it was a second for the, for the vintage ploughs and now we're into the massive modern ones which is just amazing what they can turn over in a day. And there's a lot of just people that really enjoy it, really just for a bit of fun. In terms of quality uh, of ploughing, how does the horse compare with the modern tractor in terms of quality? Not uh, Obviously the, tra the modern tractor is able to do the quantity but... I would say myself the horse is better than the plough. He's, he, he, can handle, he can handle it better, he can get a better seed bed. The big ploughs, they turn it over, but they've got a, another big thing coming behind them to make it level and with them. But the horse, you can actually put this, the, all the seed within the plot. And in terms of uh, standard, what kind of standard are we I heard you mention when we were talking earlier about world champions and things. As a world, the, the, the guy that's got the horses here today, Jim Elliott, he is a world, um, British champion and he's going to the world ploughing next year to compete for Britain. And do you think he stands a chance? Definitely. 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 He's, he's, he's one of the best I've ever seen in my life. That's great. Well, thank you very much for your time, Harry. Thank you. And uh, I know we've got some prize given to do soon, so uh, look forward to that. Thank you. I've got the tractor, uh, which I'm using that one, and that Sherman plough to go to the Scottish National at Lossiemouth. And that's in about, uh, it's on about 24th and 25th of October. And, uh, so this is the first time I need to try the plough and get it set here before I go up to the championship. <laughs> Fantastic. Right. Thank you very much. Now, well
Ladies and gentlemen, uh, just like to say before we start, we've had a member of uh, the committee been in with us for years, and I'm not going to say how many, but we'd like to give Mandy a love of flowers and a drink for this, and uh, thank you very much. <laughs> right, another thing is thanks to Neil and Katie who will give us his wonderful field but the tractors have seen have gone to go away this year Neil the cup is not here and third place he's not here <laughs> second place is Robert Crothers of Longtown <laughs> first in class two was Kevin Rennie from Blair Gowry. Oh, is he here? He hasn't. <laughs> well done. All right, lad, thank you. Third class, the vintage trailing. In third, Trevor Robinson of Skeleton. Second was Trevor Johnston from Bothell. Well done, Trevor. <laughs> and first in class three is John Saunders from Carlisle. Well done, John. Class four is vintage mounted. And his third is number 20, Colin Hewitson from Allen Bay. Hello, Colin. Second is Jim McKechnie from Lark Hall. Now I know Jim's gone. Somebody said he was going to take it to Scotland, but I wouldn't give it to anybody going to Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> Alec. That's it, Well done. And first was Wood, uh, Wood Reg Wilkinson from Hexham. Class five was uh, the classic hydraulics. Third, now we've got a fourth here. We? Highest placed young farmers in this class was Matthew Whitehead. Where is he? Where is he? He's getting bigger every year. <laughs> Third is number 47, Max Simpson from Garstang. Second is Jim Duncan from Suck Scorby. Is it? Sorby. Donan. Donan. And the first is John P. McClindo from West Lothian. James. Well done, thank you. Third is uh, the novice class, Stephen Twiddle from Cannon Bay. Well done, lad. Second is uh, Mr. Dixon from Greystoke. And first in this class is uh, Alec Ramsey from Glenluce, who will be no, mem no more 
a novice. Uh, class 8 is a horse team goes to Mr. Jim Elliott Where's Jim Elliott? He hasn't run away, is he? Don't just come and fall He's already got the cup <laughs> He's already got the cup on the mantelpiece Can't get it off <laughs> Best demonstrator was Colin Foster from Rickabies. Gives a roll eh? And second in the, the rose <laughs> demonstrator was Johnston's. Howard Johnston. Where is he? Thank you. Thank you very much. Well done, sir. Thank you. Best under 21 was Nathan Bateson with, 20, with 10 pound note. Well done, lad. <laughs> Highest placed young farmer member overall was Robert Crothers. Cars Billington, the cup goes to number 22, Alec Irvin, Massey Ferguson. Uh, the shield for this one isn't here. Uh, it's Frank Johnson Provincial Shield, goes to Johnson Tractors. Jack's got it in his bedroom. Jack's got it in his bedroom. <laughs> uh, Ly uh, Lloyd Limited Potatio Tankers for the new Ford Holland Robert Crovers. Rickaby's Limited for the old Cup is John Saunders. Best work by McCormick and Class. Hey. <laughs> eh? Frank Johnson, Perpetual Cup. Best exhibit consists with age in the vintage classes was George Blaylock, number 19. Crafts and Trophy, Manufacturers Trophy to James McDo, McKindo. <laughs> Best for flying, not residing in Cumbria. <laughs> the best Cumbrian ploughing, the British Empire Challenge Cup, goes to number 11, John Saunders. The youngest ploughing, the Border County Cup, goes to Northern, Northern, Neeland, Baston. Mason Baston. It's Johnston Perpetual Cup will be awarded to the Young Farmers Club whose team members gain the maximum average points. That goes to Longtown Young Farmers. <laughs> uh, 
Now we haven't got this cup because the guy that's still got it is in the Holland blowing, which is the Border County Championship Challenge Cup overall winner goes to James P. McKindo. <laughs> well done, lad. We'll get it to you when he comes back.